sounds of night. Finally got in our hammocks. After aggravating a few beavers on the pond. So I'm going to sleep now. Good night. The consummate fisherman. All right, we just had another successful camping trip, hammocking trip, and I just wanted to show how I uh, made it a little bit better. Um, finally got some real mosquito netting, but as you know, I'm a cheap skate, so I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff. So what I did was I bought this, um, I guess it's like a cot, mosquito netting. It's just like a big uh, rectangular uh, box netting that you hang up over a site that you want to put a cot in or just want to work in. And at the double wide, this was kind of um, bigger than I was actually intending to buy, but this is what they had. It was only yeah, $15 on Amazon. And uh, the great thing about the setup I do here is that it requires no modification to the netting, and it's very simple to get in and out of. Um, and it's very simple to set up, too. So. Um, this is rectangular. This is a rectangular box, like I said, and I'm, I'm holding the, the two ends of it. And what I'll do is I'll just grab the one end, and we're going to actually use it upside down. So we're going to actually put the box around us from underneath and then wrap over. So I'm going to grab the center of the end of the netting, and what I do is I just pull over to my hammock. You just take a little little piece of it, not too much, or else you'll tighten it too much. I just knot it up in a double, uh, like a granny knot or a two half hitches right there. And then I go over here and do the same over on this side. And what I like about this netting is that it's um, a little more resilient than what I was using with the tool. The tool likes to tear, and it's also very stiff and it makes it a little more tricky to, to manage and it's not as comfortable so i'm just going to take this the middle of the end grab about six inches on either side knot it tight around our guy our uh, ridge line and that's the first part of it and that'll hold these the ends closed from any bugs getting in then, I'm going to take my back piece, bring it up in front of my ridge line, take a good length of it, and just bring it over like that. And from this point, it's almost perfectly set up. Now, all I have to do is get in it. This is a little low because my son was in this one. Just get in it. Lay down and then just grab this and flip it over the top. Now I did add a modification to this to uh, uh, make it uh, sure that I won't the thing won't slip off me during the night. But this is actually generally what I would do is just put this over and you're done. Now because it's all light like this, it's hard to flip it over. So what I did decide to do is I just grabbed two roundish rocks right here and I'm just gonna weight the uh, the net by putting a rock into the net and then gathering around it and then just taking a short piece of string or whatever I have available and just tying it underneath the rock and locking the rock in place so I got like a little button rock there same thing on the other side. Just wrap the rock in the in the netting. Put the uh, just tie the string around it so the rock can't come out. And now I'm gonna go to get in. Let's sit down. Leave my knife there. Falling out. Get in my hammock. 
then I can just take those weighted pieces and they fling easily over the side and voila I have very efficient very easy to set up bug netting for $15 and I can testify that this worked. We just used it last night. We're right by a pond, so there's plenty of mosquitoes around, and it kept the mosquitoes out very nicely. And because it's this actual mosquito netting, it likes to fall a lot better than the tool. The tool likes to bunch up on you and stuff, and it's just weird. So um, typically these rocks would actually be out on the, on the outside of your, your hammock. Just to lift them up a little bit, drop them over. They're in. I'm in. And I'm good to go. Bug free.